behalf of my people in Mexico, we have been making Mexican tunes very popular on Bangla. We're very, very happy about this. So we're happy to present to you the Captain's Poker Award. <laughs> As you can see, it's a very beautiful award, yeah. and you are very deserving of this award. Okay. And this is primarily because you like to play the tune Cactus Polka okay. over and over. <laughs> and over. <laughs> yes. Here, Senor Martin, we, we have one request. If you will make, we have one request. Please learn another tune. <laughs> Es todo. Buena suerte, mi amigo. Gracias. Son a couple of little small notes that I would like to add to this. That Mexican national that just came in was a converted tenor player by Ralph. And uh, Ralph invited him to come down. He'd teach him how to play a real banjo. Ooh. And he got him there. He dropped a plexum banjo in his lap. And he says, uh, here's the song. Give me $10. <laughs> and <laughs> he didn't know what to say. He didn't want to make him mad or anything. So Kirk gave him $10. And Ralph says, I'm going down to the liquor store to get a six pack of beer. And I want you to know this song by the time I get back. Another point I'd like to, to make to show you what kind of guy Ralph really is. He had so much faith in the Banjo Spectacular that he was planning to put on that he mortgaged his house to get the money to do it with. <laughs> Thanks, guts, folks. Ralph, you got a bunch of them. Congratulations. There were so many kids that uh, come down to Los In fact, I went and got them and brought them home with me. And uh, Ken Farnsworth was a lawyer in Fresno. There were five kids in Fresno on the first batch that came down. That table over there on the wall. One of them. Jack Conberry right here next to Frank. Keith Presting over there. Judy Herman over there. Where'd she go? Right there. That's for the kids that were involved. I, I think I got everybody that's here. And uh, there was about 18 kids that came down there playing tenor banjo. I just put their banjo in the closet and I said, here, here's a plectrum. From now on, you're going to play plectrum. <laughs> so my two kids, Dick and his older brother, John, by this time are expert banjo players. And uh, so I just piece these kids out two or three at a time with them. Learn this song, you learn this song, you learn that song. <laughs> and when I get back, I want to play it. So my teaching ability is not all that good. I'm not a good banjo or a music reader. I play a lot of stuff by ear. But using the talent that I have available, I pieced them off with all the kids. And Howard Alton was another one of, them, one of the kids I used as a teacher. So I just created a place for these kids to learn. And that's how all this happened. Well, thanks a lot. That's how we got started.